we're going to talk a little bit about what plaques and tangles are so people you know mm -hmm. could understand sort of a little bit of what it looks like under a microscope in the brain mm -hmm. um, and so you know plaques and tangles are very important um, as far as normal age-related memory loss are concerned so the way I look, you know, and you can give me your own interpretation, the way I look at a plaque under, as a neuropathologist, you know, almost like in the movie Concussion when the guy's looking under the microscope, that was Will Smith, I see these little meatballs in the brain, and those are what plaques to me looks like. <laughs> and to More me... like Swedish meatballs. Swedish meatballs. And, you know, they're in between nerve cells, so they're not inside right. the nerve right. cell. And they're sort of blocking the way the synapses... Like little, like little, or like little boulders. Yeah. That, that are thrown in the road, you know. Almost like, you yeah. know, also almost like bullet holes. And so if you have to remember a thought, you have your neurons or nerve cells, they have to connect from different places in the brain. And this is sort of mucking up, you know, the connections and, mm -hmm. how, and how you're to, so, supposed to remember something. Well, the plaques, when they start to affect when nerve cells talk to each other. So nerve cells connect at what are called synapses. And you have a hundred billion nerve cells and you have hundred, hundreds of trillions of connections called synapses. Some people even have a quadrillion. You probably have a quadrillion. Um, I hope so. Yeah. And so the plaque is made up of this sticky material called amyloid that's kind of, it clumps up and when it's in the synapses it actually blocks the ability of one nerve cell to talk to another. Right. So let's say you're trying to recall a name or a word, and the nerve cells may fire, but they, it's like a short circuit. And the second problem is as the plaque accumulates, it also causes the nerve cell to make a tangle. And the tangles, which are made up of a different protein called tau, I think you said, along with your meatball analogy, they look like spaghetti. spaghetti. Right. Um, spaghetti I say they the look like, you know, they, so they're these little twisty guys and that are inside the nerve cell. Right. And they now start to wreak havoc inside of nerve cells so that the nerve cell eventually dies. So you get the plaque causing the, 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 the blocking the, the communication between the nerve right. cells. And then the plaque causes tangles. And then the tangles inside the nerve cells now start to kill the nerve cell. And so that's why, even though we all get plaques and tangles as we get older, it's so important to think about how do we minimize plaque and tangles in our brain and we can do that with lifestyle choices. But yeah. the point I'm actually right. trying it, to make is that the target of reducing plaques in the brain is a very important target right. that a lot of people in That's the brain right. supplement field who yes. are not looking at. That target yes. is very important. Yes. And so what we've done is we're actually looking for a nutraceutical, a natural product that can actually go through the target, which is brain plaques, and then later tangles, something that we could take like a dietary supplement, mm -hmm. a daily supplement that actually targets basically the real reason we're losing memory as we age, which is plaques and tangles. Right. And I don't think there has ever been a supplement out there that's going after the real target. And I think this is very yeah. important. There are other things you can do to get rid of plaques. Exercise helps. Right. And, uh, you know, when you sleep after you have REM dream sleep, that, that deepest sleep you go into, the stage four, is when plaques get removed right. from the brain. Yes. Um, so there's things you can do in your life. Um, but and we think it's the accumulation yeah. of both a dietary supplement and a lifestyle change. Yeah, so That's probably sleep, be exercise, important. diet. We even showed a meditation you can right. help uh, plaques. So stress reduction. But can we add to that a supplement? And that's where you can. Yes, exactly. Right. Thank you.